Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel guys. Thank you so much for liking the videos, for subscribing to the channel. It's deeply appreciated. Now I've got on my mind, in the last collective read I just did, the Queen of Swords was in reverse and they were planning some kind of revenge on the Empress. Ooh. So I want to find out what this Queen of Swords is up to. The Queen of Swords that is in reverse. What are they up to, Spirit? Oh my God. They are delusional, I'm telling you. They're hurt and they're doing the most here. They're attacking the shiny toy. They're delusional. What is this Queen of Swords in reverse doing? Jeez, look at how the cards are coming out. Because of some loss of money. Taking them to court? Suing them? <sighs> Your person is heavily burdened. What is this fighting and arguing, starting drama? I told you, your person, if you think they're on easy street, they are not on easy street. This is... Courts, judges finance they're bankrupting this whoever your person was dealing with other than this queen of swords that was in reverse Jesus, people sticking their nose in, spying, causing drama, burdens. I don't know what's wrong with your person. I really don't. But they go from bad to worse in a hurry. It's like... They come up with this idea to like dodge this Queen of Swords in reverse by entertaining someone else to get them off the trail of what they're doing or you off your trail. Now they're on this other one's trail, starting drama there, suing them, taking them to court, Telling them, I'll see you bankrupt, I'll see you in court. Your person is moving. 
They got to move. They want, they want to come toward you, but I don't think they can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're scared to love you. <laughs> there is jail here. There, I don't know. If your person had to get a restraining order or if this shiny toy who they're dealing with tried to had to get a restraining order on them your person has no choice they want to apologize to the Queen of Wands They can't love you. They cannot love you. That's how they feel. That they cannot love you. They're saying that this Queen of Swords in reverse will do whatever it takes to keep them from coming toward you. From the... the It's something about having to pay them out of a home or uh, buy them out of a home. They're moving. Something to do with their hurt. If they talk to you, they know this other person is going to start attacking you. They know they hurt you. They know they're getting bad karma here. They see you as... Oh, Jesus. It's overwhelming. They are stuck. They do not love the either one. Of, they're in love with the Empress. They do not love. So, see, it was a manipulation. They know. Oh my God. So, maybe this person had to move literally far away to keep this all at bay there's too many people here guys this person is trying to avoid <sighs> they're trying to avoid a disaster they can't they're in one. This person is truly stuck. No wonder they got to go for professional assistance. For real. They're dealing with, that's a sociopath or a psychopath from their past. Who is like, if I can't have you, nobody's going to have you. This is someone who will force their way. They don't care if they go to jail. They don't care if they break the law. This is someone who is not in their right mind. So...
you might be aware of this person or you may not even be aware of this person. They used another energy as a distraction to keep this person from hurting you. Maybe that it's embarrassing. Like, it's embarrassing. Like, who wants to be with somebody who says, Oh, you gotta worry about my ex. They're crazy. They're gonna kill you. They're gonna attack you. You wouldn't be around them long. This person is really stuck. Is it everybody's read? Nope. But I can assure you that it's for somebody. It's come out twice. This is the second read. I said, who is the Queen of Swords in reverse? The Queen of Swords in reverse is out to do damage to it wouldn't matter who your person chose in their life they're out to destroy whatever person they're around so it's like maybe they have to go far far away like move away thinking like if they move far away that this person would leave them alone they're not no They're not leaving this person alone. They are that controlling and that jealous. This is a sociopath or a psychopath. They're beyond a narcissist. This is someone who should be locked up behind bars. Tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse. Who's the Queen of Swords in reverse? Who is this Queen of Swords in reverse? They're a boy. They're turning, they're a type of person who tries to turn children against, obviously, the other parent. They have a bad reputation. They make up shit lies they're lying and they're saying this isn't even involving you at this point whoever the company that your person is keeping whether they're f buddies or not they're making up lies they're making up shit they're interfering in whatever relationship that your person has. It is not you. That's why your person's moving. This person's tired of playing. Your light really disturbs these people. They're losing their vehicle or they're having car problems. They're going bankrupt. They're bankrupting this person. Somebody could be going to jail. I don't know. Fake accounts talking shit about your person, about you, about whoever they go to. 
this person is being haunted by the person from their past because this is a creeper a stalker always following this person around maybe this person played someone else and whoever they played is getting vengeance spirit is saying they ain't shit whoever this idiot is but your person was a wolf in sheep's clothing they're not innocent here. So you're busy just rising. You're over here minding your own business. Tired of this person's horror stories. Tired of this person's drama. You're played out dealing with it all. And you probably don't even know a quarter of what the heck is going on behind the scenes this person is playing themselves out you're fed up with the whole thing that's what I see you just got fed up with it you're sitting over here unbothered and you have a stalker and these stalkers are the karmic's friends happiness haters i'm telling you it is a nut show you're over here busy winning see giving money guys this would drive me nuts this is like jerry springer times 10 what is going on behind the scenes i could be here all day trying to figure out what is going on but that's the gist the player your person was a player played somebody they should not have crossed this is a crazy person Try to, how dare they try to involve you in it? That's why they backed off, guys. They got themselves in some big trouble. They did. They got themselves in a... They were a player, but they played the wrong person here. They could be going to jail. This karmic, whoever they're, they, it is a karmic energy. I mean, anyone of high vibration does not go out seeking revenge and does not go out stalking people and harassing people and harassing their new love situations. That's what this one's doing. They can't get away. This is an obsessive controlling sociopath they're violent they will do whatever it takes to get even suing people going to court making sure that they're bankrupt because your person hurt them This could be someone from way back in their past, long before you ever knew this person. But they are like, you always hear stories about narcissistic men. You hear stories about obsessive controlling male lovers, but you hardly ever hear about the female ones. This is a female narcissist. Who belongs behind bars? I don't know if your person has had to get restraining orders on them or whatever they've had to do, but this won't stop this one. Maybe some jail time will stop this person. They want to see your person in jail. They want to see your person bankrupt. 
they are not going to stop till the law stops them. Guys, there's so much going on that we are not aware of, that we do not know, which is why it's important for us not to judge, but to listen to our intuitions because we're not in their shoes. We don't know the history, the whole history of this person's life. And the only thing we are to trust is when spirit removes us from those relationships, it is to protect us. And that's why we're not there. Take care, everyone, and good luck.